as well. Now, if offered a position in government or a lot of money, say about $20 million, would you reconsider your plans? Absolutely not. <laughs> Even if you're going to give me a trillion dollars, I will never, a trillion dollars, I will never abandon our youth because we have to plant the seed, right. the seed of innovation, the seed of healthcare reform, the seed. It takes a passionate leader. It takes, there's no, it takes and somebody in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Mm -hmm. It takes a leader, a STEM leadership. Because STEM, we, our orientation is about problem solving. Yes. If I'm driving a, around the street of you and I see trash piled up, mm -hmm. I will stop the car right there and say, where is the commissioner for environment? Report here in 45, in 10 minutes, I want to see here. I don't want to see this again. And if I drive around town and I see trash piled up again, you lose your job. You get my point. Hold them accountable. Hold them accountable. That's right. Hold the the leaders have to start holding people accountable. That's right. So that is that is my passion. I want to be able to make a difference. But Val, in all of this conversation that we are having, yes, give me constant electrical constant. power or death. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh. Now, why do you think that black communities all over the world share the burdens of the haves and the have-nots? It is because of the, it is because of the um, economic opportunities. Economic opportunities. Um, for some reason that, that I don't understand, that are black men or black women, when they are in charge of something, they don't think about their neighbor. They don't think about, the, in, 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 if you come to here now, you see mansions with a gate. But the road, but the road leading to that mansion or around that area is potholed. You can't even flow, you know, you have stuck down water everywhere. But, but so, so that selfishness, that selfishness is what drives, if you look at Haiti, you look at Jamaica, you look at the uh, south side of Chicago, we don't have this empathy to say, look, we are all in this together. That's right. So it's going to have to take Nigeria, like I was telling you. The way Nigeria goes is the way the rest of the world will go. Because everybody looks at Nigeria. I'm telling you, everybody, the white people look at Nigeria, the Russians look at everybody, Chinese, they look at Nigeria. Because Nigeria, they have, they, they have what it takes, but the leadership fails. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay, last 